bring to you a special segment of our What's Up Wednesday where we are focusing on some really good tips and tricks we want teachers to have for back to school. I chose to bring to you quizzes. Quizzes is something that's been around. I used it in the classroom frequently. It was fun. The kids would always get so excited when we got to do this gamified uh, way of learning. But now I really love that Quizzes has brought in the AI component and they have done it so well. So I'm gonna show you my favorite things about it, um, talk to you about it, and then dive into their platform to, to kind of show you it in real time. So Quizzes AI is what I'm talking about. Let me. Um, cursor. All right, first thing I love about it, it's a time saver. If you tell me as a teacher that I can save time and not have to spend hours or even just my entire planning period planning something or creating something, then I am listening, I'm locked in. And that's exactly what quizzes can do for you. There's many ways that you can bring information in. Let me just move my face so you can see it. We can upload from our drive, we can pull a PDF, we can take a picture with our phone and put it in through the app. You can even choose the standards and the depths of knowledge that you want to go into um, or the levels that you want. So super, super powerful, great time saver. Something else I want to show y'all is that we can make it fun. I know that we as teachers try to bring our kids and make things customized so that they're more bought into the scenario, but let me tell you that quizzes is really doing it for us. You can take an existing quiz or one that you've just generated and you can change it to where the voice sounds like it's coming from Shakespeare or Dwight Schrute or Yoda. Um, and you can even put your students' names in it and it will make it feel like it's written specifically for them. So super fun. I also really love, and this is really a, this should be my number one, is the accessibility piece. Um, there's many times as a teacher, I'd be in the moment and I have my EL students and my para wouldn't be in there because they were spread very thin. And I would have to hurry up and translate something just because where I thought I was prepared, I wasn't necessarily prepared as I should have been. Well, let me just tell you with the touch of a button, we can translate things in quizzes. So if you've created a quiz for your students, you can quickly go in using their AI and it'll translate it and make a copy of it. And you can easily get that to those students. So I really love how easy they did. They made that feature. Um, and lastly, this is not the last thing it can do. This is just one of the things I really wanted to highlight is there is a Chrome extension, ladies and gentlemen. So I can be on a website with my students and with the extension, which I have pinned to the tab, pinned up top, I can create a quiz and in, like instantly. So let me jump out and show you exactly what I mean with all of these things I just mentioned to you. Now I'm doing it super fast. Um, so just, know that you're going to spend more time in it the first time you do it but i want to start with this is a quiz i already created let me move this over here you know i spend more time moving my face around than anything else it's kind of um it's comical so here's a quiz i already had i just want to show you where these buttons are so with it no that's not where i want to be so my library i'm gonna go into let's go to this one um, this is just one that I pulled from a website actually, but look where it has AI Enhance. If I click on AI Enhance, I can then do all these. I can add more questions, I can fix things, I can convert it to a real world scenario, which is really helpful for students. I can add a theme, questions with my kids names and even hit that make it fun where you can see the different ways that we can change the voice, which is, it's just entertaining, okay? Um, and look, it's actually translating it in that one that I clicked. So I really love, I'm gonna just say, I was just exploring. Don't want them to think something's wrong with it. You can even do that just with specific questions. Now, I feel like it's important to say that just because AI created it doesn't mean it's perfect. If you haven't used AI much, just know that you're still the teacher and you still dictate what gets created and published. So you can go in and edit those how you see fit. Um, Another thing I want to point out is while I'm in here, I can also, I can of course upload my own things. So I can do create a new activity, generate with AI. I can create my own, bring in my own document from my drive or just from my device. I can put in text, go to a site or YouTube. Now I do want to show y'all this. If I put in my own, uh, all I did was figurative language. I want it to be automatic questions, eighth grade. Let's just pretend that I have my standards selected. I love that I can pick my standards, standards. And then I want the depth of knowledge to be a three. 
Here we go, moving my face again. I'm gonna hit continue, and all I did, remember, was type in figurative language, okay? I could have uh, got some subtopics there or standards there. It is creating, generating questions. Now, whenever this is done, remember, as a teacher, I can go in and select, edit, and use what I want. So just because it's here doesn't mean it's the end all be all. Um, maybe I should have said eight questions. All right, so continue to editor so that you can see exactly what I have the options of doing. And again, here's anytime you see this little magic symbol, you can go in there and change it. All right, so next thing I wanna show you, and of course that was a lot in a quick way. I have a website right here, okay? I have this extension. This is just American Alligator. I'm in Louisiana, in case you didn't know. Alligators are just part of life down here. Not like, uh, Bobby Buffet, but we do have alligators. So quizzes, I'm gonna let it choose, let's just do automatic generation, multiple choice, because I'm on the free version. And when I hit create quiz, it's doing pretty much what it was doing a second ago for me. It just does it directly from the website. So this is pretty powerful. Um, it's an easy way to generate something without you losing a lot of brain cells doing so. So I'm not gonna stay here because I wanna value your time. Again, time is very important for teachers, but it's creating everything for me. And look, before I even clicked next, it's there, okay? I'm gonna minimize that and just go into my little recap right here. Again, I highly encourage you to check out Quizzes AI. Use your content, bring it in, let it generate it for you. Um, there is a certification course on their site, Quizzes AI, where you can really learn the ins and out of their AI um, embedded features. I really encourage you to do that. It's good, I did it, it was less than 30 minutes and I learned a lot. Um, so time saver, makes things fun, accessibility not just for translation i can i can customize things to students and of course the chrome extension so hopefully you got something you can use for this new school year and i just really wish everybody a great start of school and just hope to see you back for more videos